Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna talk about emergency contraception pills. If you have had sex and did not use birth control or your birth control failed, for instance, the condom split or you forgot to take your birth control pill, emergency contraception can help stop you falling pregnant. Emergency contraception comes in two forms, the morning after pill, an emergency contraceptive pill such as Levanol or the Coil or more correctly, an intrauterine device or IUD. So what is emergency contraception? In essence, emergency contraception is simply another form of birth control, but one that you use only when you have had sex and you either did not use birth control or your birth control failed. If you have unprotected sex, it is essential that you use emergency contraception as soon afterwards as you can. An emergency contraception pill is not the same as an abortion pill. Once you are pregnant, an emergency contraception pill will not impact your pregnancy. While the emergency contraception pill is commonly called the morning after pill, there is no need to wait to take it. You can take it immediately after having unprotected sex. It is important to be aware that emergency contraception is not intended for use as a regular birth control method. Be sure to talk to a doctor about regular birth control methods if you are planning to have sex. Remember, in some countries, almost half of pregnancies are unplanned. So, how do emergency contraception pills prevent pregnancy? The chief way in which the emergency contraception pill works is by delaying or stopping the ovaries from releasing an egg, a process known as ovaration. In some cases, emergency contraception pills can stop sperm from fertilizing an egg after ovulation has occurred. However, if you are already pregnant, that is, if the egg has been fertilized and implanted in the uterus, then an emergency contraception pill will not affect your pregnancy. Okay, let's consider the difference between emergency contraception pill and abortion. Emergency contraception will not cause an abortion. Rather, it prevents you from getting pregnant in the first place by stopping the release, fertilization, or implantation of an egg. Medical research and legal judgment are quite clear that emergency contraception prevents pregnancy and is not abortion. Abortion can only take place after a fertilized egg has implanted in the uterus. In other words, abortion is only possible if you are pregnant. So when should you think about using emergency contraception? You should think about using emergency contraception in two instances. One, when you have had sex without using birth control. And two, when you have had sex and are worried about your birth control failed. In these cases, you should think about getting a prescription for emergency contraception from your doctor. So, okay, who can use the emergency pill? Even women and girls who react badly to hormonal contraception, including the contraception patch and the combined pill, can use the emergency contraception pill. There is no age limit and girls younger than 16 can take it. However, if you have severe asthma, are allergic to any of its ingredients or are taking certain medications, the emergency contraception pill may not be suitable for you. For instance, some herbal medications, medications for TB or tuberculosis, HIV and epilepsy, drugs that affect your stomach acid like omeptazole or some lesser used antibiotics like rifabtin, rifampicin can interact with the emergency contraception pill. Make sure to let your pharmacist, nurse or doctor know what medications you are on and they will be able to tell you if you can safely take the emergency contraception pill. Also, you can find more information in the patient leaflets that the medication comes with. Okay, how quickly should you use emergency contraception after unprotected sex? Emergency contraception works best when you use it as soon as possible after unprotected sex. If you are unable to take it right away, emergency contraception can still work to prevent pregnancy if taken up to 3 to 5 days after unprotected sex. How long after depends on which type of emergency contraception you use. Okay, let's look at the side effects of the emergency contraception pill. 
The emergency contraception pill has no long-term or severe side effects, but it may cause stomach pain, headaches, nausea and vomiting, and changes to the next period you have, which may come later, earlier or cause you more discomfort than normal. If you are sick, that is, if you threw up within a few hours of taking the contraception pill, you must seek medical attention. This is because you will need to either take another pill or get an IUD. If you do experience any side effects and they aren't gone in a few days, see a nurse or a doctor. Also, see a medical professional. If you are worried you may be pregnant, your next period is lighter or shorter than normal or is over a week late or you suddenly experience pain in your lower stomach. It is rare, but pain may indicate an ectopic pregnancy, which is where the fertilized egg is implanted outside the uterus. So, does body weight affect how well emergency contraception works for women? There is some suggestion that body weight can impact the effectiveness of emergency contraception. Research shows that the emergency contraception pill may work less for obese women, that is, women with a body mass index or BMI over 30, than for non-obese women. If you're obese, you will need to discuss your emergency contraception options for a doctor. So, can you use emergency contraception as your regular form of birth control? It's not suitable to use the emergency contraception pill as a regular birth control method. Typically, methods of birth control are both cheaper than the emergency contraception pill and more effective at stopping pregnancy. Additionally, authority has approved the use of the emergency contraception pill in emergencies only and it is not known whether regular use is safe. Ok, next question. Will emergency contraception pills affect your next period? My answer is maybe. After you take an emergency contraception pill, your next period may come sooner or later than normal. Most women will get their period within a week of the expected date. Your period also may be heavier, lighter, spotty and more or less painful than is normal for you. If you do not get your period more than one week after expected or if you think you might be pregnant after taking emergency contraception pills, take a pregnancy test to find out for sure. Last question, will emergency contraception protect you from sexually transmitted infections or STIs? Emergency contraception does not protect you from STIs or sexually transmitted infections. The only way of reducing your chance of getting an STI when you have oral, anal, or vaginal sex is to always use a condom. If you are concerned that you could have been exposed to an STI, it is important to see a doctor as soon as possible. There are drugs available that can help to prevent HIV, which causes AIDS. Also remember that help is available if experienced sexual assault. First, you should go to the nearest emergency room as quickly as you can to help you find hospitals that can correct evidence of a sexual assault. You can call the police or some hotline. At the hospital, you will be able to get medication to prevent some STIs including HIV and emergency contraception. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon.